Hey everybody, welcome back to the Goodest Cast. And on this episode, we have Kazuya Taguchi, FD driver, D1 driver, D1 street legal driver, super sick final bout, slam, wide body, tome powered, SR personal car, super just the man like the man has so much style, but yet so technical. Um, just a great all-around dude, driver, and we get into all the details of how he got started. He started drifting before he even had a license in Japan. His dad had an S15. Like, just like the complete origin story about Makamans and how he got on the team and everything behind that. So, you don't want to miss this one. Definitely listen to it. Kazuya is the man. Super funny. He had me dying the whole time. And, uh... I'm just happy to be back. Sorry for the long break. We uh, had some stuff to do, but I'm going to start getting these episodes out, and I appreciate all of you for being patient. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm here to tell you about Cora Works. Cora Works is a shop based out of Georgia. I think they're like near Atlanta, I would assume. That's the only place I know in Georgia that I've been. So, But uh, all the homies out there just having a good time like i feel i want to work there i want to work at coral works can i get a job <laughs> put me on uh anyway through the goodest cast we can get you 15 percent off use code goodest boy like you would be saying to your favorite favorite dog after they brought you a beer from the fridge or something i don't know Some, something that would something that would just have you saying you're the goodest boy uh but yeah, Cora Works has these sick engine bay dress up parts. I got I got my Jay-Z uh, coil pack cover, anodized, pinstriped, like shit is gangster. They have a bunch of other cool stuff for SRs and S chassis. And you can get not only that, but they got like merch and stuff. And honestly, check them out as a shop. Have them do some work, you know? They're doing some really cool builds and really cool stuff. And you can buy parts from them. Just check them out. They support us, you know, you support them. It's a cohesive synergy that just brings everything together in this crazy little world we call drifting. So anyway, I appreciate you guys and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to them or me or whatever. Anyway, <laughs> what ad is this for? <laughs> is it for me or them? <laughs> Hey there, fans, fans of the podcast, or people who don't like this podcast, they just like the guests. I'm here to tell you about Tire Streets. Tire Streets sells all kinds of tires, mud terrain. You know, your grandma needs some tires for her hybrid. They got you, and we got you 15% off on all of those. Good as 15. But if you want to save money on the hot shit, on the fucking best drift tires on the planet or probably universe we don't really know if people drift on other planets but if we did know we would know they'd use accelera 651 and i'm gonna give you some out of this world savings 20 percent off goodest 651 we'll get you 20 percent off accelera 651s they're out of this universe planet world whatever you want to call it tire streets <laughs> uh so welcome <clears throat> welcome to your own shop yeah like kind of embarrassing like small shop you know <laughs> did you did you have a big workspace in japan uh yeah not big big but maybe i don't know two thousand three thousand square foot i guess yeah is it already started? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Okay. I just threw you in Super here. Super natural. <laughs> oh. Okay. I was not ready. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of nervous. Are you? Know? you? Yeah. Why? I never, I never done that. Like, pop up? No. Podcast? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never done that. Like, especially in English? Yeah. I don't know. I hope 
I hope everyone can enjoy my Japanese English. <laughs> <laughs> how how long have you been speaking English? Um, since 2018. Yeah, like five years ago. Wow. But I never learned it. Like a lot of people learn themselves, but I really like to uh, spend my time to walk the car or driving. Yeah. So <laughs> that's excuse, excuse, but but I never learned. I just speaking, trying trying to understand everything. Yeah, but did, still super difficult. Did you? Did you come to the U.S. before you? Did you learn English before you came over here? Yeah, in the like middle school, high school, but I think um, English class in Japan, yeah, is really bad. <laughs> it's really bad. Like you know, like the English teacher said, "Oh, repeat." Repeat after me. Apple. <laughs> okay. Apple. But here is like apple. <laughs> yeah, it's way different. I can't even pronounce correct, but like totally different. Like yeah, completely Japanese English language. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think that you're. Uh pretty good at english for learning only a couple years ago only a few years ago i think uh you know like imagine like talking talking with a four years old kid or five years old kid <laughs> like almost same you know like i only spoke japanese until uh 26 years old and uh, i started to uh trying to speak english five years four years ago so kind of like same same but yeah. maybe the four years old or five years old kids is better better than me <laughs> for sure <laughs> for sure eh, i guess so the first time the first time i met you was on yeah, track was that? i don't remember what event it was but it was at grange avs is it night it was the was night it drifting. Night? It oh, was Oh, I guess New Year Eve. Yes. Uh, 2019, 18 to 19. Yeah. New Year Eve. Yeah. I still re remember that. Yeah. Like that was super fun. Yeah. Yeah. I uh I was like going down the straight and I saw you behind me and I was mm -hmm. like cool. Yeah, I was like, you know, like just after huh? No, 2019 to 20. Yeah. I think because uh, uh, after I, I moved here, so yeah. So just after I moved here, yeah, I was like, I know this guy, you know, like red BMW. I know this guy, like red S13 and, you know, like three of, the, three of you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was super fun event. Yeah, I remember yeah. watching you drive with Julian at night and you were chasing him. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, you said, I think you said to Julian, uh, like, because it was pitch, it, we didn't have any lights, I think. Yeah. And you were using his headlights. Yeah, I didn't have headlights. Yeah. I, I knew it's going to be night event, yeah. night drifting event, but uh, I, I don't know. Oh, I, I, I don't remember, uh, but I think I installed it, like some small LED light. Yeah, they super work. dim. Yeah, yeah it doesn't <laughs> work. Yeah. And all right, uh, but you know, like there's no light in the upper world speedway that time. So yeah. shit, how can I drive? <laughs> and then like Julian show up. Oh shit! Well, if I if I chase him, I might, you know, see the front. Yeah. You know, just kept chasing him, and then the Julian is like, "Hey, you go, you go lead," <laughs> and I was like, oh, "Sorry." I don't have a headlight or whatever. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> I can't drive. You know? Yeah, that's super fun. Oh, yeah. that's the first time. Yeah, we met. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Did we talk? Yeah, oh. I think so. 
I tried to tell you that I bought my uh, wheels from Up Garage. Mm. And you were like really confused at what I was trying to tell you. <laughs> I was like, I got these. Well, you're like, uh -huh. mm. you're like, mm -hmm, mm, mm, nice. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. Yeah. So the difference between then and now, your English is oh. very impressive, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Still, still learning a lot, like struggling a lot. But I think getting better every day. Yeah. Yeah. But I still remember um, 2018, uh, I just started competing after USA. You know, I came here to US uh, myself and competing after USA. But I only could say, Yes, no, <laughs> thank you, DK. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yes, no, thank you. I learned in Japan. Yeah. The DK, like some, yeah. Uh, yeah, who taught you that? People who used to work Achilles tire, and they told me, like, always, like, started from the bad word you yeah. Know? <laughs> yeah yeah like that's all over the world like yeah the, uh i that time i landed um dickhead and piece of shit <laughs> but they, <laughs> they asked me to repeat but yeah. you didn't know what i kept meant. saying but i didn't mm. even know what what does that mean like i just saying like oh, piece of shit <laughs> and everyone is laughing you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah i see you remember. yeah so uh let's i mean you just you just came off a podium in fd yeah you, two weeks ago you brought your trophy home on the plane with you yeah i saw that picture i laughed yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah people see like what what is this guy carrying like because <laughs> us literally like hiding with my sweater yeah but the people is like <laughs> He's carrying the gun in the plane, or I'm like, <laughs> you know, because <laughs> I didn't want to put my on the ground like floor. Yeah. So I, if when I'm sleeping, like I don't want to kick for some people, like random people, kick and break. So yeah. just holding like this, <laughs> yeah. but the people are like, what is that? Yeah. And what is he holding? Yeah. But I was really glad spending a good time in Orlando. Yeah. Yeah, you're driving awesome. Thank you. Uh sometimes. Yeah. I <laughs> drive after driving with you like at like fun events, I I was like, yeah, because he is very good. I want to see him do well. Yeah. So it's nice. It's nice that you're like doing well. Thank you so much. Um but I think like on a lot of the people who listen and watch this podcast are going to be really curious about like how you got started. Mm. A bit of your origin story. Okay. I bond from my mom. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I'm from Japan and I'm, also from small island, like all the way to the north, called Hokkaido. Yeah. So probably like a ski, pretty famous, like it's seafood and ski yeah. and snowboard. Yeah. So there's a like ski pad kind of style track uh, nearby my house, like 20 minutes from my house. And my dad uh, loved the car stuff and uh, you know sometimes like weekend he took me uh, to the truck to see like local drifting like sometimes competition sometimes just uh, like local event then I was like oh this is so sick like probably when I was nine years old ten cool. years old cool wow like I'm not uh, I don't even know what we call, but this is so sick. Like cars, like literally sideways. And at that time, 
my dad's friends was there and my dad asked him to uh give me a ride you know mm -hmm. and the nine nine years old kids kazuya got the ride experience in in the drifting car that time yeah and that changed everything huh yeah yeah like i still remember his name and his car what like what car is it like yeah what was uh, it uh that was their s13 white coupe yeah and i was sitting in the passenger but like the dashboard and then my view is like this because <laughs> i was nine years old yeah, so you couldn't see i anything. couldn't see anything <laughs> like i was just so scared kind of nervous um but once he started drifting it's like shit yeah. i really want to do this you know want to drifting that's their start and after that like i started to like learn about about the drifting then uh i found the uh, one bhs video mm -hmm. from my dad's room yeah that was a d1 grand prix 2003 pihoku sick and uh, while my dad is not uh in the house like while he's working yeah and i just started to watch <laughs> and uh, oh shit like this is a pro drifting series yeah right and uh yeah <clears throat> kind of shocking like super high level like the cars look so cool yeah and then each driver has, has like a lot of styles yeah like nom ken was there like kazama yeah like haruguchi was there like all the regent was there in the video and uh, like i kept watching while uh he's working like after come back from school hey, i will watch again and uh, like I start to remember, oh, which driver is next, you know? Like, how, what point he's gonna get. Yeah, yeah. And at that time, he, uh, the uh, Tanaka, Team Orange, Orange S15, he won. And that's a kind of inspiration for me, like, to fall in love with a S15. Mm. His driving style is super crazy. And um, like, after I got ride, in the drifting car in my brain is like drifting 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 <laughs> i want to do this you know <laughs> and then i after i grow up like 14 15 15 or 16 no 15 years old i was playing the soccer ball but i got injured like uh i got hard on my feet and i have to quit uh the soccer to play the soccer and i'm not sure somehow like i went to middle school but that school is pretty like um, strict mm. about anything yeah. to get the driver's license to get the part-time camp i couldn't work like uh the school which a lot of smart people goes so mm. that time I wanted to be a school teacher. Really? So I was really uh, like studying hard. Yeah. But after I got uh, experience to ride for a uh, drifting car, like, like I'm like, you know, park studying. Yeah. I just want to do drifting. Yeah. <laughs> and I started to got the work, like a part-time job. Uh, in the middle of high school and then i got the first car which is sora toyota sora really yeah uh, here is a st 300 yeah but it has a uh, jz twin turbo like yeah. the same motor as jz x90 yes but it was older one j right yeah yeah and then 300 bucks from my older friends no way he's working for uh, gas station yeah yeah <clears throat> and he called me hey uh, you want this and i'm like yes i don't have a driver's license but yes you know <laughs> and i 
<laughs> I grabbed the money, like 300 bucks, uh, to get the car. No, I mean to see the car to the gas station with a bicycle. Yeah, because I didn't have license. I yeah. didn't have the car. Yeah. And then my parents is like definitely not allowed to me get the car. Yeah. So, and then, yeah, I decided to buy the car, Sora, from him. Then he took uh, to the, my friend shop. Um, then that started. That's the start. I started driving like anywhere. Like weird story, but like in the school all the time, nine to four PM. Yeah. I'm just sleeping <laughs> on the desk. <laughs> right? After school, go back to home around five PM. I'm gonna go to bed again until twelve PM. No, I mean 12 a.m. Yeah. Wake up 12.30, checking my dad and mom, make sure they are sleeping. Yeah. Take the bicycle to go to the shop and then switch to the Sora <laughs> and then take that car to the street. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's my... Every night? Start, yeah. Every night in the high school. 15 years old. Oh, so did you even have a license yet? Because in Japan, we only can get license over 18 years old. So wow. three years before. Was there like, was this like, uh, like Toge Mountain Roads? Like, where did you go drive it? Um, like around the shop. Yeah. I didn't have the ball to get to like Toge yeah. or like, like far away. Yeah. So I'm just driving around the shop. <laughs> yeah, that's a start. Did you first drive it automatic or did you? Yeah, automatic on the snow because Hokkaido is a snow country. Yes. Like winter season is like a lot of snow. But I try to drift, but it doesn't work. And I ask to my friend, which uh, sold the car to me, um, uh, want to drift, uh, how can I do it? Oh, maybe you need to get like an LSD or yeah. welding differential. Yeah. What's and that? I'm like, what's that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh the he's like, uh, just the welding the weld differential. And then I'm like, how oh, is it is it difficult? And he's like, no. Nah, just same as replacing the exhaust. He lied to me. Yeah. That's completely <laughs> yeah. lie. Yeah. And the next day, I dropped the differential. I think it took nine hours or something like that to drop the differential because I have no idea. I never work the car. Yeah. Only the bicycle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it took eight hours to drop the differential and then uh, ask uh, to my friend to wear the differential. Mm hmm and uh, like another 10 hours uh, to install the differential and then finally i can drift on the snow on the snow yeah so what was that's it, a start what was it like the first time you drove it with the wall to diff i was screaming <laughs> because the car started sliding so naturally yeah yeah i'm like what i can I'm drifting, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like I was so excited, so pumped. <laughs> like, That's awesome. Yeah. Like my dream came true. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So before that, like uh, in Japan, we, we, we took a shower, but we, every day we into the bathtub. Yeah. Right. And the bathtub, you know, kind of um, like same form as like a driver seat mm. so i was <laughs> so stupid but <laughs> i was like driving in the bathtub every night like before oh like I pretending get, yeah like practicing yeah like ima wow. Im 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 imagine yeah to drift whoa like you know like i got like a dvd gnome cans drift technique or yeah. whatever yeah so, yeah yeah i watched it 
and it, hey mom i need to go go to the bath you know <laughs> <laughs> and then driving you know that's so cool yeah um so you started out doing that when did you when did you switch to s chassis oh Actually, my second car after Sora was a R32 four door before I got cool. driver's license. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I took the Sora to the local drifting event. Yeah. When I was 15 years old. What was that? What was the first event like? Uh, just a, just a like random track event. Yeah. Like anyone can go, just yeah. pay. And, and um, I had, like I have no idea what to do. I'm just trying to drift, but it didn't work. But one time, like uh, the guy, random guy, told me, "Hey, uh, you need to get manual call." And uh, I'm like, "Okay, uh, but I don't have money. Uh, I don't know. You know, fifteen years, fifteen years old, Kazuya, confusing." And he he was like, "I have R32." You want it? Uh, 500 bucks. Whoa. I sold the Sora and I got R32. That's a second car. And the first manual car for me. Yeah. And uh, I started to uh, practice to drive like manual, manual car first. And uh, there was a D1 divisional series like maybe laws and pro -am series in hokkaido uh when i was 15 years old i took the r32 to compete there and uh, the people watching me because i didn't have driver's license that was that time super rare to see like someone who drifting with a without to drive driver's license yeah. like 15 years old yeah yeah and then ever watching but i spin out spun spun out in the qualifying in front of pro d1 pro driver oh like, who was it uh the reno no way yeah beltex reno he was judging and i spun out and that time like i decided like i want to be good driver like not pro but want to be good driver oh so you didn't That's a first comp competition for me you didn't always want to be a pro no that's a uh, you know like too, yeah too difficult for me <laughs> that time i was thinking yeah yeah hmm. so then uh funny thing my dad bought s15 really yeah for his personal and no way. He was about to uh start drifting and then uh he got like radiator and differential LSD and like uh like knuckle spacer, like rack and pinion spacer for yeah. drifting or yeah. whatever, but he never done. And then the things I did was every night um I went to 7-Eleven to get the beer, couple of beers, and then bring back to the house. And I made my dad too drunk. <laughs> then I was asking him, hey, um, can you give me S15 for me? <laughs> the first day he was like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> no. <laughs> and second day, third day, ah, <laughs> uh, like, get up, you know? Yeah. But after one month, finally, like he was like pretty drunk. Yeah. And then finally he said, yes. And I got S15, first S15 from my dad. No way. Yeah. That's it. The timing to switch to S15. No, S jerseys. Yeah. How old were you when you were, when that was happening? Um, that was 18 years old. After just after got a uh, driver's license, and you're like, I want an S15. Yeah, for cool first car. Yeah, yeah. I mean, th that's a third car, but 
officially first. Yeah. Yeah. Was it was it cool driving around Hokkaido in the S15? I yeah. was like 18. You're just like same same like my lifestyle didn't change like just in the school sleeping after coming, <laughs> coming back home into the bed and uh, driving S15 1 a.m. to 7 a.m. Yeah. And uh, go back home and then straight to the school like every night yeah because you know on the snow so i didn't need to change the tire yeah so i was just driving keep kept driving that's so cool yeah every night did you ever take a break um yeah sometime like i was when i was too tired after coming back uh from the like part-time job yeah like i was working for a ramen shop in the airport no so, way <laughs> yeah sometime but were you the chef or did you take orders uh the chef cool washing the dishes sometime like take care of the noodle nice Something like that yeah okay chef kazuya yeah chef <laughs> um so you got the s15 you're 18 yeah now what you just keep driving every night and when do you start uh and you're part of a team uh yeah i think the key was like uh the things changed was i think 2011 Mm -hmm. or something like that how old are you 18 or between 19 Mm. uh after i got driver's license but i wanted to go the college uh we're located in uh tokyo area mm. like mechanical mechanic school oh okay cool yeah uh, and then uh that time um we got like something but um like you, you remember like 2011 like big tsunami yeah came to japan yeah 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 like literally that time whoa and i supposed to bring the s15 to the tokyo but the port broke from the tsunami oh wow so ended up my mom uh told me like you just need to fly there like we can just ship s15 to the tokyo after that but i'm like no i just want to go to tokyo with s15 or whatever (laughs) yeah yeah yeah, and then uh ended up um i took the like big boat but uh the boat only goes to like the port super far from tokyo mm. so i had to drive eight hours to tokyo from the port mm. and when i on the way uh i'm driving i was driving s15 break like something broke mm-hmm on the freeway and then like no power but i had no knowledge about the car so i'm like oh shit like car is slow why like but i just kept driving right Mm -hmm. and then next day after i got uh there in tokyo oh i found like random older friends uh in the carriage uh, I asked him, hey, I think my car is broke. So uh, where uh, do you know, like the shop around here? Mm-hmm. And he's like, yeah, I can, I can take him, you know. And uh, I follow him. I arrived at the shop. And I saw a bunch of yellow cars. Oh, that was a no way. Base of the mokomas no way yeah so you Garage just Yamaguchi. so you randomly they were you're just like thinking you're taking your car in yeah to some service the, place the first time like i i've been there like it was just the customer hey uh can you fix my car you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's the <laughs> first time i met them whoa but they're they're kind of like like gang vibes I feel yeah like I did like oh, 
Hello, uh, my name is Taguchi, and they're like, oh. <laughs> like I'm like, I was so scared. <laughs> so scared. But some people, like, um, I, I, I say something, but they're like, nothing. Like, they didn't even answer me. Yeah. That's the first time. Yeah. You're like, yeah. oh, okay. Oh, I'm so scared. But <laughs> can you please just fix my car, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I found uh, a lot of, you know, uh, yellow cars, like, which is drifting cars over there. Yeah. And uh, after that, I uh, I went there um, every day to mount the tire for the night. Oh, wow. And so uh, they were like, who is this guy? Yeah. Why is he mounting tires every day? Yeah, every day. Where are you going? Where are you driving? You yeah, know? yeah, 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 yeah. Like, why are you driving like so much? Yeah. Like, but like, um, day and day by day, like after one month, two months, they uh start to remember me. Yeah. And then they start to talk to me. And uh, one day, um, I was in the like some one the cross street which i was driving every day mm -hmm. like street drifting spot mm -hmm. and you know like um there's a crossroad but there's also the place that people just hang out like talking like yeah. just park yeah yeah and usually like some random people show up like straight to the, that area to talk to everybody then start driving drifting right but i had some crazy engine sound from super far away but it sounds like they're already drifting like from super far away Whoa. like a hard whiskey sound like tire noise like everything but it was not one car and then they just show up and then straight to the first corner and then they are gone that was a mock ones like yellow cars six seven cars whoa. train whoa and then i was kind of shocked whoa these guys are so cool you yeah know? Like, yeah yeah wow who is that guy oh wait a minute that's uh, from garage yamaguchi you know like the yeah. same cars i realized it yeah and the next day like i was i asked them like hey uh did you guys drive last night and they're like no <laughs> <laughs> kind of tried to hide <laughs> yeah and then i started to you know like dream about like joining mokumans yeah yeah crazy I mean, crazy 19 years old yeah and yeah. there there uh was there anyone on the team at the time who was your age or were they all a little older uh uh closer but older yeah like the boss is like over like i think 10 10 years older than me but the younger people is like three three years different but in japan that's a big difference yeah so we are like you know <laughs> yes yes sir you know? <laughs> <laughs> i'm still do like that yeah for the boss yeah you know, still nothing changed that's cool uh so you saw them driving, you're out driving, you asked them if they went driving and they said no. Yeah. When did you get in with them? What did, what did, what did it take? Mm, uh, I competed one of the competition. Uh, like the competition only can compete, uh, only um, student can compete. Hmm. Under 25 years old. But also you need to be like like a university high school student, student or, oh. or university student okay so i competed that the first time and uh, like 100 130 drivers there like only students whoa and i won whoa first time wow because uh it was raining it was rain and in all the that main competition all that practice in hokkaido yeah and the, and the snow i love the rain driving yeah also the snow drifting yeah so like 
like just some drivers um, who is really strong but he just keep spinning now because yeah. it goes of rain but I'm like oh you know like very easier compared to the snow drifting I was yeah. just enjoying it and I won so after I won uh, I think the Mokman's teammate uh, started to think maybe I might can I might join the team because they took care of me when I compete. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. And next year, I finally joined Mokman's as their youngest teammate. Mm -hmm. And the paint the yellow. Cool. Just finished um, before competition, like 12 hours ago. Whoa. Just finished. Fresh paint. Yeah. Uh, with another, like, one of the crew, like JZ600 Chaser. And we transported two cars to the competition. We showed up like a king, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. Two fresh paint. Yeah. Full yeah, body yeah. kit, super clean car. Because other driver is like, you know, like a student. They don't, we, we don't yeah, have yeah. Yeah, yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we can we could barely drift yeah so nothing like fresh paint car like beat up no bumper no yeah. foot yeah 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 but two fresh wheel paint cars on a transporter show up with their like a two car like transport truck pony yeah. truck yeah 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 and people are like oh shit the mokman shows up you know yeah yeah and then we were like hey, we're here you know <laughs> yeah. and then we're like acting like dick you know Oh, uh, I came here to win, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And first lap, we smashed together. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, the, when we coasting, like, we did, like, couple, like, burnout, like, stupid shit. Yeah. And we are so excited and too excited. My friend spin out in front of me. No. I smashed straight to the chaser. No. And then both cars total. Oh yeah, but Barry could drive, but yeah. it's total. Yeah, and then we are like, hey, I came here to win <laughs> after Smash. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> but a uh, funny story, I won a game. Yeah, I won that competition game like two years in the low, and another lucky was upgrade was sponsored to the that competition like oh, student cool. drifting competition and upgrade decided to give uh, like offer to work the upgrade for the winner oh whoa and i got offer um uh, after the competition they are like hey you want to work for us, you know, like, yeah. like the shop stuff, like Sarah. And I said, yeah, I think definitely better than like random mechanic or whatever. Yeah. Because they understand drifting. Yeah. They love drifting. They yeah. love custom, yeah. custom car. So I said, yes, I want to work for upgrade. And another like a couple of weeks later, CEO of Upgrade, he called me. Hey, uh, can you can you come to the uh like headquarter? And I shows up. I showed up, and then he told me, "Do you want to drive? Like, do you want to compete D one Street Legal Whoa. as a employee driver? Yeah, which is like same situation as now." Yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so that's a that was a first offer to be not pro driver but kind of like driver. Yeah. So th that things changed my life again. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's so crazy. That time after that, like I started working for upgrade daytime, and after that nighttime, um, they gave me like small house no way two 
two floor, second floor. Yeah. The first floor was literally garage, two lifts. No way. And then a bunch of tools, like welding tools or whatever. And the second floor is a room I could sleep, take a shower. Yeah. So I was sleeping in there. Like I was using that house five, four, four, five years. Whoa. Yeah, that, that was the start as is a that driver. Rare, is that rare in Japan to have a, a garage that you like, like a house that you could live in with a garage? Yeah, it's, I think, pretty rare. Yeah, because it's not safe. You know, like on the insurance program, maybe. Yeah. So not, yeah, pretty rare. That's so cool. Yeah. What was uh What was D One Street Legal like? Um, the goal uh the CEO told me was to get a license for the D One Grand Prix. Yeah. In the street legal, right. D One Street Legal, and you know the first time I compete like real competition right like they're pretty everyone pretty good and yeah. uh, the car is like way better than my car yeah and were uh, you were you driving your like street s15 oh yeah uh, i brought my personal s15 and then put the livery as an upgrade car yeah and i maintained myself yeah like i almost did everything myself but one employee another employee was helping but mostly like me and him yeah were working the car and i got i barely got d1 grand prix license that time and next year 2015 i debuted d1 grand prix yeah that's a pretty like you know jump yeah. up every yeah. year yeah so I was really enjoying it, but also super tough. Yeah. You know, I had um like regular job, which is upgrade nine to ten PM. Whoa. After that, start to work my car like ten thirty to three p three AM. Whoa. Every day. So I was enjoying it, but same time. A lot of tough. You've put in a lot of hours. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, more than, more than most, more than, more than a lot of us can say. Yeah. Like, you know, like teenager or like, uh, younger around 20 years old, you know, you want to go like hang out with your friend, go to bar or club or whatever. Like you never did that. Never. Just yeah. work in the car, playing around the car with my friends. Every day, nonstop. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's what it takes. Yeah. When did you When did you decide? So, how long did you do D one? Uh, two thousand fifteen to two thousand seventeen, three season. Yeah. Was that? I mean, I'm I'm sure that was very challenging. That was very challenging. Yeah. Uh, did you Did you have any successes in? D1? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I missed up in qualifying and then d didn't show up in the main event. Oh, okay. Like a lot of 40 drivers and then the 16, only 16 drivers can go to the main event. Right. And they don't work every single year, every single rounds. But, so it's very hard to qualify. Yes, very hard. It was very hard. And then 2016, I finally passed the qualifying into the main competition in Odaiba. Oh. Another one, like another my dream came true. Yeah. I was dreaming Odaiba. Yeah. So street, not street coast, but the kind of street. Vibes, yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Street vibes. Yeah. So I was like, yes, finally. Like I can drift in or diver in front of the people, right? Yeah. And I showed up in the into the ceremony, but the view was different. I was watching a lot of DVD, DVD, right? Yeah. Like option magazine. Yeah. That time 
like a lot of grandstands and then full of the spectators. Yeah, 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 yeah. But 2016, I think things changed a little bit. Like to cheer, Mr. To cheer was gone. Yeah. And then D1 is kind of like, you know, dropped a little bit. And there is not a lot of people in front of me. Yeah. Then I started. I noticed that. Think, I noticed that when I watched the live streams, uh -huh. there's not like a ton of people no, going to watch like, D1 in no, Japan anymore. Compared to 2005, oh, yeah. was, 2010. Packed. Yeah. Packed. Like, yeah. you know, Ebisu, like every yeah, round. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of people. But when I became D1 driver, didn't like that. So not a lot of people. What do you think changed? Um, I'm not sure. Um, there's no younger driver, mm. new driver, because I'm I'm respect a lot of legend driver like Nomi Ken Koguchi, legend driver, but like nowadays they are still driving. Yeah, the Nomi Ken retire koguchi retire but like reno like a lot of legend people is still, still driving yeah so that means if younger people dreaming to be uh be a d1 driver they can't find a sponsorship company because like a lot of big name still on the yeah legend driver i think i think fd was kind of like that for a little bit and now it's like bit. finally starting to yeah started like show up like younger generation yeah. which is really good yeah i think so too yeah like you know like spectators people want to see new drivers yeah new way yeah for sure yeah but i don't know there's not a lot of people in front of me like in the stand yeah that made me it worry was... about my future yeah yeah i'm like i was like i was dreaming this yeah but your whole life is it okay yeah. to keep doing this yeah and that uh situation made me think oh i sh I, I, sh I think i should start to look around like different drifting series or different country yeah then i ask to the ravi nishida Mm -hmm. hey um i'm worried about the future of the drifting you know <laughs> yeah and then he's like okay <laughs> and, and <laughs> i'm thinking to i don't know like uh go to new zealand or australia or u.s to learn english and to learn like different countries drifting yeah and then he's like you're interested in FD USA. I'm like, yes. Okay. So he's like, I might retire after 2017. So you can drive my GTR. That's what he told me. Whoa. I was like, shit, I, I'm not ready, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a good, great offer yeah. for me, for sure. But the same time like i have i have to do a lot of things like financial yeah. sponsorship yeah. and i had to learn english so hard maybe yeah yeah but ended up yeah um he introduced me to his previous team and his previous sponsorship like the tire company or oil company or whatever That's so he cool carried me like everything yeah and then he I just start drifting in here u.s sounds like he believed in you yeah i really appreciate him yeah you know yeah. like yeah that's that's pretty like big big thing yeah what's well, the driver yeah yeah um so that was it you're like i'm going to the u.s yep I came here 2018 without any English. Thank you. Yes. No. Dickhead. Bitch. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> uh, 
So yeah, I was that's driving really, GTR. That's really all you need. Yeah, right? Yeah. Like I could make people laugh. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I was happy about that. Yeah. You know? So yeah, it was not easy to drive the car I never drove, the truck I never drove, and uh, also mechanic asked me hey uh, how much um tire pressure you want it i have no idea because we use a no you guys use a psi yeah we don't yeah so use bar uh kg oh yeah whatever like i don't even remember i forgot yeah <laughs> uh everything different yeah yeah, yeah. tire pressure temperature like yeah. i couldn't even see the water temperature yeah. What two hundred? It's overheating <laughs> for the Celsius, <laughs> right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or or temperature, oil pressure, boost pressure, anything. Yeah. And a drivers meeting, of course, in English. Yeah. My team yeah. only speak <laughs> English, but I didn't want to have the um translator. Yeah. Because, like, I want to connect like feeding with them like yeah like i don't even speak english and if i have translator maybe like always like through the translator maybe it works but i i needed to learn english myself also that's why i decided uh to not have translator i say sounds cool but i just didn't have budget <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i was i came here myself and yeah i start to make relationship with a team which is a uh, jerry and racing yeah i'm driving uh with them over six years right now yeah so yeah 2018 first year was super tough because I couldn't even say, I couldn't even tell over center. Uh. So I was like, they're staring locked. <laughs> now they are like, what? <laughs> Walk out. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I have a little bit muscle, but still <laughs> staring locked. <laughs> then work out. And oh my gosh, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that was super tough. I learned a lot of stuff yeah the first year yeah how did you how did you find the drifting styles uh like how did because they're they are different like d1 versus fd yeah, completely different lots it's of fd have, drifting but it's different yeah lots of outer zones and fd yeah lots lots of smoke mm -hmm. i remember i remember you telling me how you learned how to drive through smoke mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, smoke screen was the like the big problem for me yeah. for the past year. First first round which was Long Beach and I against it uh with a forest one at the top thirty two. Mm -hmm. And when I chase after initiate, it was gone because of the smoke. I never had that amount of the smoke, tire smoke. Like in front of me yeah you know? i let off the throttle and i'm like where i'm driving <laughs> and after smoke was gone he was gone yeah oh shit this is pretty different yeah you know, I, I need to really work hard about this you know? yeah i don't know i i don't think i practice a lot for adjusting American drifting style. Yeah. Like I was just learning through the video from like FD USA, like live streaming. Yeah. Because I I w I wasn't even uh living US. So I didn't have car here. I didn't have house here, like back and forth, Japan and US. So I was just learning from the video and in the venue from the other driver. Well, 
I think I remember you telling me that you practiced driving through the smoke by. Uh, oh cold, yeah, yeah. Cold. Um, <laughs> but mostly, I do is like in the local event, like just like closing the closing my eyes while I transition. Yeah. But I, the first, like, I thought that was so smart. Like at the beginning, um, just close like zero point five seconds. Yeah. Like normally. Yeah. But after you used to it, like yeah. one second, two seconds. After switch back, after you open the eyes, oh, okay, I'm still on the line. Yeah. You know? But nowadays you don't need to do that. You can just practice with the simulator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's too much risk. Yeah. 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 Do you do you uh do you use the sim to practice for uh, upcoming FD rounds or do you just use it for fun? I do. Recent, especially recently, I do. Um, I'm jumping the same server, the with the, my spotter. And mm, interesting. Yeah, and the guy who is making the mods for frs hmm. so he's literally making frs in the asset poster sounds like br and uh, the feeling is pretty same as real i can't say real yeah but it's getting close it's seem never be real yeah i think but pretty close then i'm driving with uh, my spotter so he can spot oh uh, you you often like make mistake in the outer zone one or whatever. Mm, like, interesting. Yeah. He can spot he can also spot her in the asset course in the same. Oh, that's really clever. Yeah. That's what we are working on it this year. But uh like most of the time in the night and weekend, I'm spending my time to build my personal car. Yeah. So the, the same is like kind of before the round, oh, I have to do yeah, kinda, your job. Yeah. 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 So, but it's it's good um, weapon to learn like technique, like, yeah, drifting. The same is good, I think. Did you, uh, to take it back to Makamans, did you guys ever do any like team team drifting events? Or was it mainly like mm. you competing and, or was it a lot of street stuff? We never done that. Uh, recently, they only drive in the truck, no more street, mm. you know? Yeah. But uh, we never done like, team competition because we shows up we show up with a super clean drifting cars fresh yeah. paint yeah every time because the garage yamaguchi is a body shop in japan mm. so we can't show to the people like super dirty car like yeah, dirty yeah, paint, yeah, yeah. Like well, crack I mean, everywhere or whatever. yeah i know i know that if you're listening and you haven't seen your cars in person but like every time he shows up to the track it's like almost perfect that's a lot of work yeah i know <laughs> <laughs> like i never show up look with a bumper you've seen my car but you have yeah. style i think okay i appreciate it yeah it's uh, it's got a character mm -hmm. yeah yeah character yeah. yeah yeah actually right now it's probably the cleanest it's been in a while so yeah i try I'm, I'm trying to be more like you but it's a lot of work because yeah. honestly, I want to just drive, you know? Yeah. But the reason why I'm building the drifting car almost as a, like a show car. Yeah. Like to keep clean as much as possible is, you know, uh, if some people who never seen drifting shows up in the truck mm. and then see the drifting first time. Like, which is better? Like, super clean, looks good car yeah. in the truck, drifting around, or beat up, like, no window, no door, no hood, no yeah, bumper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, oh, I see. Looks fun, but yeah. Yeah. I don't know, like, why the car 
is so beat up. Yeah. You know? But you will understand, oh, shit, like, it's a process, you know? Like, if you <laughs> practice tandem, oh, you're going to hear it. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. but the random people who never seen drifting, is yeah. like, they imagine, like, Hoku drift, Tokyo drift <laughs> yeah. style, you know? Yeah, yeah, Everyone yeah, yeah. has, like, cool cars, cars, cool yeah, yeah. cars. And they show up, and it's a looks like a demolition derby yeah like, oh, uh, maybe maybe this isn't for me this is it's not you know yeah so yeah so cool car and driving hard that's the best I yeah think. i think so too i i'm trying yeah this s15 that you're building is really impressive thank you yeah i'm, I'm trying all I'm the, taking a lot of time but yeah all of the like fabrication you're doing so that it can be low and mm-hmm. still functional and just a- yeah i'm like no one care but i care like yeah just you know like bottle with me like myself yeah yeah uh you know uh like everything motor training wiring everything like suspension everything swapped from my previous one id so, oh, so that supposed t- to tell me motor yeah cool i could switch to the s15 in three days because everything from like same shows yeah but i don't know ended up like i'm spending one year to build the car i have no idea but hopefully looks good after i done yeah i'm excited to i'm excited to see it drive yeah, maybe 2030 or 2031. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah. So, yeah. I always, um, like, when you, uh, after you loaded up the car to the trailer, bumper put back on, like, porish, car wash yeah. every single time. You want the car to look nice on the trailer. Yeah, that's... That's a I, I don't know. I don't know if people think about it, but you do. Like when you show up to the truck, yeah, with a trailer. Yeah. That's the most the timing your drifting car needs to be cool. Uh, because after uh, unload it, you're going to beat up everything. Yeah. I do. Yeah. So, that's the time when you show up. That's the most important uh timing for me it sounds so stupid no that's cool i like it it's smart yeah <laughs> so when yeah. you roll in that's that's also when everyone's looking at, at yeah, the car. yeah 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 they're like oh yeah what's so, what the what he do yeah like, hey. so i have the wheel for the trailer yeah which is 11j yeah shit i shouldn't no nah, you should. don't want you don't want to give away the no, no, cheat no, codes no, no. yeah, nah, yeah. No. It sounds so <laughs> stupid <laughs> like people ask me hey, is this the wheel for the trader you know <laughs> yeah but uh yeah uh i have 11 j uh wheel for the loading app yeah with a car show yeah i don't even go in the car show but sometime yeah. you know, maybe yeah. once two two times per year so, yeah yeah so i have the wheel for the trader so after unload it before I started driving, I will I changed to the nine and a half for the lead. Yeah, so cool. <laughs> I was I was uh, I was really impressed with how fast you were on such a smaller tire, because we run we run like two sixty fives, and you Ooh. on on the thirteen had two thirty fives, but you were like all over me, all over uh. everybody. One thing, the tire is good. Tire street, tire street, GT radio, fifteen yeah. percent off. Yeah. No, yeah. they don't do it. <laughs> they don't have. They don't have GT radio. Oh, okay. okay. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, the GT radio. I like. I like that. That's the tire. But yeah. it's com- the compound is different. Competition one. Yeah. It's like regular compound, but uh, I don't know. My opinion is. Do you really feel the difference between 265 and 235? Uh, I, Which is a heavier 265 and 235? Uh, interesting. So, 
I think everything's balanced. I think. Yeah, I think like I think like the the only the only thing the only thing that I could think of is like that tire width when you're. I mean, but we know that you can flick the car mm-hmm. crazy. Yeah, I think mm. yeah, like flat tire, like two sixty five, two seventy five, yeah, over than that helps you like when you do a switchback or like side grip yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. But other than that, for like these kind of cars, yeah, I think it's a balance. Some cars like with a Jay Z or whatever, like. A little bit heavier than S chassis, and then more power than SR. You might need a two sixty five tires, but for me, it's like uh, I care. I care about the weight of the tires mm. and the compression to the ground. So two sixty five and two thirty five. And if you have like two thousand pound car, I don't know how, I don't know what pound, but I think S chassis are around two twenty three, twenty four hundred. So skinny tire can make more compression. Like I don't know, I don't have any good example. Oh, let's think like rally car, like WRC yeah. cars. Yeah, yeah. Like non drive, like what tire on the snow mm, interesting if they go to the snow country like they run like super skinny tire yeah because they need to like compress compression compress to the the tire to the ground right to make the grip mm. so if you have 2300 pounds or whatever like and then 350 holes and like 235 because I feel like I can have more grip. Uh, depends the style, driving style. Mm, interesting. Heavier. 265 is heavier. And uh, what what wheel size you running with a 265? 10 10.5 J. So but if you if you if mm, if you need to run 215 on the back, what wheel size you want to choose? Uh, I don't know, nine. So the um the two to have two round with a fat tire means the tire is heavier and the wheels are heavier, heavier too. Yeah. So my car is like making 350. Yeah. So not like big horsepower. Mm-hmm. So the lighter, like weight ratio, mm-hmm. is pretty important for me. Yeah, rotational mass is yeah really important. Yeah. Uh, I also I have another question for you. I know that you in your 180 had uh welded diff. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there's a lot of there's a lot of debate on mm. welded versus two way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why 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 is your preference welded? Um, hmm. the why is the reason is to have spare is cheap. Yeah. All right, I have four point one final mm-hmm. welding depth. Oh no, I mean LSD, and then I need a spare four three three nine or different gear ratio. Yeah. Do you want to buy another LSD? Yeah. And you're gonna spend like. 2000 extra yeah right like pumpkin like lsd and gear install so the welding differential like less budget to have spare yeah that's the one reason and another one actually i was driving with a uh, welding differential since D1, I'm competing, I was competing D1 Grand Prix. Oh, you had a welded in D1? Yeah. Ah, interesting. I tested it yeah. uh, in the Fuji Speedway. Like, uh, yeah, that was the Fuji Speedway. I carried six different shells to the Fuji Speedway. <laughs> 3.9, 4.1, 4.3, 3.7, like 
different gear with LSD one and welding one. Mm. I prefer um, the uh, welding differential mm. that time. Maybe uh, the Fuji Speedway, like the road is pretty sticky, like international truck. Yeah. But I tried another truck, like a Odiver. Odiver. Uh, I, I liked it. I liked the welding differential. And then a lot of people ask me, like, uh, oh, but when you let off the throttle, like, you don't feel good with the welding differential. But I feel like then don't let off the throttle, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's uh, my opinion. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, have you have you learned anything in the U.S. that you would bring back to Japan and people would be uh, surprised by for car setup or driving mm, style? Yeah, there's a lot. Like, I think the build, build level is uh, the American build is way higher level than Japan wow, right okay. now. So I learned a lot. Like, yeah, mm, there's a big difference between US bill and Japanese bill. And uh, I think the most, the biggest difference is like, mm, like pro driver, let's say, I don't know, FD driver, prospect driver like um they they acting like a pro uh that sounds bad <laughs> <laughs> sounds bad they they have like professional vibes like try to be professional mm. like everything like car looks green like big rig with a sponsor stickers that's why Formula D can have the sponsor by manufacturer like Toyota, Ford, mm-hmm. or big name like energy drink sponsor. But uh, it sounds weird, but when I was in Japan, I never say I'm drifting, like I'm competing professional series of drifting because people think that's a gang shit mm. like takeover like street shit yeah so i didn't want it that's why i'm like oh i'm driving like race car you know? yeah yeah yeah. i hate to say i'm yeah. drifting yeah but here is like i'm drifting and like people understand yeah and then people respect drifter so that's a big difference maybe the culture i don't know why yeah like growing up so much but that's super good thing. Yeah, you can be proud. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. I yeah. never I never thought about that. That's a big difference. Yeah. Yeah. I've spent some time in Japan and there's definitely some characters mm-hmm. in drifting. Yeah. Yeah. You're like yeah, hanging out at Mehan and some of the some of the people that you mm-hmm. run across, you're like, oh, okay. Like don't don't mess with that guy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 But so, yeah, I think there's a bit of that here at, at some of the local events, too. Mm-hmm. Like people it is it is kind of like a it's a little bit of like an outlaw mm-hmm. motorsport. But I think recently in the last couple of years, it's starting to get very, very uh, serious. Yeah. Like what was it like being in Long Beach with it completely sold out? Yeah. Like, like three events in a row. Yeah. Like Long Beach, Atlanta, Orlando yeah. sold out. And I went to the Pro-Am event in Georgia. Uh, before Orlando, I feel like yeah, there is super serious like rig, the build and team. Yeah, like they spending a lot of time and money, which yeah. I respect so much. Yeah, to be a like step up, like to be a pro driver. Yeah, I think I'm like I'm happy to see the sport being respected more as a whole, but it is. It is hard for people like me and I think other people who drift for fun or like it's still their life, but seeing like drifting get so far mm. out of reach to make it like a job, I think, make it professional. Yeah, I think like people uh, start forgetting about like roots recently. Yeah. Like 
uh, the drifting started in Japan, in just around that mountain by Tsuchiya, Mr. Tsuchiya, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I think good thing, uh, like to become like professional series, but we still need to remember how we started, like the roots yeah. of the drifting. Like, why are you drifting? Like, why are you drifting is because it looks so cool. Yeah. And it's that's fun. why, yeah, it's fun. Yeah. That's why I started. Yeah. That's why I'm still doing these weird, weird things. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> um, but I love it. This is my life. So, um, but like, yeah, I, I love both style, professional series and grassroots of the drifting. That's why I'm building S15. Yeah. Like I'm not going to use this car for the competition for sure. So yeah, I'm respect like grassroots people, like a find out about like those people. Yeah. So I can't show up like ugly car there. No. So I'm respect. That's why I'm, I'm like trying to be, um, trying to have nice car to be respect them also yeah that's cool yeah yeah it's cool seeing it's always cool seeing the pros show up at like a grassroots event mm. uh yeah you i've driven with matt a bunch uh hanging out with ken at final bout yeah that's fun yeah that was I a good time to go back yeah we need to go back yeah we need to get ken some uh spotted cow <laughs> yeah <laughs> there's this beer there's this beer they have in uh wisconsin that that you can only get there and ken literally when he was shipping his car back went and bought like i think like four boxes yeah. and like put them in the trunk of his trunk. is <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um yeah i mean what uh i mean like what do you what do you see the future of like u.s drifting and japan drifting like would you ever go back to japan and compete or do you just want to ride out mm. fd here i don't think so i don't i don't think i go back to japan to compete um because uh i have good team in here in u.s and i'm still uh chasing like the dream in fd usa but mm, that's a difficult question. I have no idea. But maybe the US drifting series like like keep growing up. Yeah. And becomes international. Yeah. Like I have no idea it's it's gonna be like Formula One level, but like getting closer to the NASCAR level yeah. or something. Because I feel it like how the drifting is famous in this country. I'm pretty surprised. Yeah. Like how many people drifting in this country? Like it's a lot now. It's a lot. Yeah. Like drifting event everywhere and drifting uh shop, drifting products, yeah, drifting company and drifting social media, like everything growing up so fast. Yeah. So yeah. Maybe getting growing up, like more getting higher and higher, higher level. I think Japan. Hmm. I have no idea. Yeah. Well, There's some older driver. Older driver needs to retire. Whoa. Okay. But I was thinking like when I was I uh, just started like uh like D one. Yeah. Like, first year. Like oh I I'm glad to meet like all of the legend in person. Yeah. But I also didn't want to see them in competition. Yeah. The reason why like they didn't pass the qualifying or whatever. Yeah. Like it's a legend for me. Yeah. Oh, 
I want them to be here in your memory. But I, yeah, in my memory. But yeah. I, I don't want to see like they are driving like oh, didn't pass the qualifying or whatever. <laughs> like doesn't well, doesn't go well. I don't want to see it. Yeah. So maybe yeah. They need to pass all the experience and sponsors and teams to the, to the gen. younger generation. Yeah. And uh, if the younger generation show up to the like drifting event, maybe we can make like uh another like a new spectators. Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah. a pretty important like social media. Yeah. Young drivers. It's important young... for the motors yeah that's what yeah I you think. don't see yeah you don't see people in f1 for <laughs> 30 years <laughs> yeah like I don't, I don't know like soccer like football or i don't know whatever basketball so probably like half of the people they know the rules yeah. and then they know each players mm -hmm. but another half of, half of the fan it's like just know. enjoy the sport yeah right so drifting fans needs to be like that so we need a younger generation to yeah. attract the new fans do you think the younger generations in japan just aren't interested in cars tone, like they used to be tone of the younger generation yeah like trying to be pro driver in japan but so, like why would i that's, that's too not much an money option yeah and they can't find a sponsor yeah so yeah maybe a lot of legend driver needs to pass the torch but, yeah here you go yeah next yeah which is your turn like robbie did to me yeah yeah and, and now, i'm thinking to do that right to the and you, generation and you have to do that to progress the sport yeah because as you and i know mm -hmm. Some of the the younger people who are getting into it now are really like, I mean, you're a great example of that. Like, you're not even thirty years old yet. How, how old uh, are you? Now? Just turned to thirty. Yeah. 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 Like, and there's people younger than us that are coming up very quickly mm -hmm. and are going to be very good. But that's like the progression because they they grew up watching. Yeah. You, you're a great example of that. You grew up watching these heroes in japan and then you make it to d1 mm -hmm. uh and obviously you have a lot of talent and skill and like you've you've been studying the previous generations but like putting your own yeah, like abilities I'm, in i'm pretty lucky for everything like the timing and yeah like it sounds like i like think there's Robbie, a lot of there's a lot of skill and, like and dedication put in there yeah but also like like these two years, I don't really get the seat time. Like, why is the competition? <laughs> yeah, I don't have a car. Yeah. So, uh, but there's still the things you can do to learn to practice drift. Yeah. Like to watch a video and like why like for for me in my brain is like everything like drifting right even. I'm driving like daily car, like random car, like Civic or my truck or whatever. Like every moment, like press the gas, press the brake, like everything like connects to the drifting. Like, mm -hmm. And then let's say like, mm, the example is like, if I find a um, empty bottle or empty can on the freeway, mm -hmm. I definitely hit, I definitely like step them with a like. You're like, I'm gonna get it with tire. this tire. Yeah. Yeah. And then without the correction. Oh. Or if you don't find like bottle or cans or trash or whatever, yeah, just yeah. I practicing on the line, like white line, orange line. Oh, interesting. Like, yeah, at least something, you know yeah and then when i park the car like i don't see the rear view mirror i don't see like mirror no way. just like park the car in front of the wall and how i get closer like those small 
like sounds stupid, but no, those really small detail makes me like, oh yeah, I know what exactly how big this car is mm. because we we keep running on the wall, whatever like one inch, two inch from the wall. So we need to feel, we need to know exactly like where is a rear left tire, right mm. tire. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that's kind of training because I don't have any practice in car, yeah. bumper car. <laughs> I feel like you have a very interesting approach to how you learn things. Mm-hmm. You have like a very create you you're very creative in how you're training yourself uh, to be better. That's really int- it's really cool. Mm. Uh, I don't think a lot of people think of stuff like that, but it does mm. it does really help. No, like mm, like during FD weekend, uh, you know, uh, after qualifying or whatever, um, you know, you you can get bracket. Oh, I'm go- I'm gonna be I'm gonna against with this driver or this after I want next. Is there this driver top eight four? You can guess who will um against with, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So after that, I just um staying in the trailer whole time until I drive. Keep watching like qualifying run or whatever, and then image like driving in my brain. Whoa. Like uh, this guy will do freak initiation like after upshift third gear. And then after a couple seconds, he's gonna do freak. And he always uses left foot brake and handbrake here, which is other people doesn't do or whatever. Like keep learning how yeah. he's gonna drive. So I can't have I don't I don't have any seat time but I'm driving in my brain right Whoa. Like training Whoa. training Uh do you have any do you have any crazy street stories from back when you were learning <laughs> Yeah like everything became crazy story Yeah Uh I don't know mm, one thing I still remember clearly when I'm I was driving on the street Yeah I have friends um who had a86 we have we are good friends still we are good friend he he's living in japan but um uh, we talk a lot and message a lot so <clears throat> when we were 18 years old 18 years old when uh, we showed up on the street mm-hmm. i had s15 mm-hmm. right and he had a86 we have the rule between me and him. If you saw the police car, cop, you can just like slam and then run away full gas, full speed from the cop. That's a, our rule because we were students. We, we can't. Get, you can't get caught. Yeah, yeah. We're going to get trouble. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so that was a rule. And um, the, my, my friend, the A. A86 was like driving in front of me and I was just chasing, not not chasing like this, like driving, playing around. Mm. And then we saw the police. And then he was like, mm, mm, like ch- found us and then start to start chasing us, you know. But we have rule. We need to run away. Yeah. With a full gas. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But he didn't. He was just cruising in front of me. Yeah, and I was so mad because they're catching A86, you. Yeah, S15, yeah. which is me, yeah, and police. Yeah, so they can see my license plate or whatever. Like, oh shit! Like, hurry! You know, I was so stressful. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was so mad, and it ended up I did U-turn, and uh, I ran to the like a different street. Yeah, yeah. But police kept chasing a86 <laughs> and it ended up uh he got caught yeah and then he uh got out from the car and then do you know dogeza Mm-mm. like 
have you seen like initial the A eighty five Itsuki doing yeah. like like I'm sorry, apologize <laughs> on the floor yeah. ground. <laughs> That's yeah. a dogeza, you know. <laughs> so we went we went back to the convenience store and then we were just cheering, hey, uh was it like his name is TK. So what TK is doing, he's still like talking with a cop. Hey, let's see what happened, you know? Yeah. And then we show up with a regular car. Yeah. He was like apologizing to the apartment street middle of the road. <laughs> like he his head was <laughs> literally on the ground. <laughs> 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 and the police is like like doing like this right i don't know like do apologize more or whatever and he was just tk was doing like apologize <laughs> on the ground and we crying laughing <laughs> what he's doing <laughs> and then 30 minutes later he shows up um the convenience store where we staying yeah but i was laughing but at the same time i was still mad yeah yeah, yeah don't yeah. break the rule man like yeah, yeah. we need to run away that's why we caught you got you got caught yeah and he's like also he's so mad at me yeah that was my full speed so a86 i thought more faster yeah but he was literally 100 percent throttle <laughs> 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 but he's I was like, so I mad. Like, I thought he's driving like, like fifty percent throttle or whatever. Yeah. He's just cruising, but he was full he was speed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Four, four AG. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a funny story. Yeah, Dogeza apologizing yeah. to his apartment. <laughs> like the like, whole, just the building and the yeah, whole just just a building. I'm but, so sorry. Yeah, but like no one is waking up. Like. <laughs> Like we don't see like any light from the room. He was just apologizing. Like he 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 said like sorry for the noise or whatever to yeah. the building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's funny. Actually, the Tomoya bought FC from TK. Oh really? So yeah, I like Tomoya. He's good people. Yeah, he's nice. Yeah, I've I've had I've spent some time with him in Japan. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's really funny. Mm -hmm. He's funny. Yeah. Nice guy, but way older than me. So I'm like, oh. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> yeah, he's an OG. Yeah. 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 OG. Legend. Yeah. Kind of legend. Yeah. Kind of people. Yeah. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah. Yeah. He always um, send me a message like after competition, like, that wall round, that wall ride was so cool, you so know? Cool. Yeah. Like, yeah. Does it do you do you talk to do you talk to many people from like Japanese drifting? Are they like are they like proud of you for coming over here and doing well or uh, not a lot? Yeah. Mm, like a lot not a lot of people is watching uh F D from Japan. Uh, I don't know, maybe time different, but Yeah. I don't know. I'm yeah. not I don't I I also not famous in Japan. So People don't care about me, maybe. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> they will one day. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um well, it's been fun, man. Yeah. You did uh, great. Really? Yeah. Do you think they can understand my Janglish? I think so. Maybe a subtitle. Yeah, yeah, I'll put some subtitles on there. Oh, yeah, for please. Everybody. For <laughs> three hours. <laughs> for free. I don't know. I'm scared. Like, when, if, if the, you got the view, like, 30 views, 40 views, <laughs> I'm scared. No, and you'll be you, good. You're going to feel like, oh, such a, like, uh, like, uh, not having the time, like, wasting time. Nah, <laughs> this was fun anyway. I'm glad I got to like learn about your like past and interesting, man. It's, it's actually really like inspirational, I think, for a lot of people to know that you started just uh, like a young fan who checked yeah, it out. Like, I'm still drifting kids, I never grew up. Yeah, yeah, I'm <laughs> competing like pro series, but I'm still like, you know, yeah, I'm not rich, I'm not like 
through. I'm pro. You know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't care about that. Like, yeah. yeah, I like. I love the drifting on my like part. Yeah, okay, that's why I'm keep doing. Yeah, that's the best. Yep. Do you have any advice for people who are like on the grassroots level to keep going? Um, uh, just don't install the hydraulic rig. <laughs> <laughs> what uh what what's going uh, on like right away yeah don't install the hydro hydros and angle kit when you learn the drifting okay that's uh recently i'm thinking all the time for the people if i give them advice yeah. like some people ask me like i i have a frs what can i how can i start drifting or whatever uh, frs like all of rear wheel drive car you can drift right yeah so don't get hydraulic handbrake at the beginning yeah don't get just bad habits yeah like yeah. you don't learn weight transfer yeah right so yeah don't get angle kit and put snow tires on the back and get the seat time Having a good time with uh, friends. Yeah. Make the friends, com- like communication with the drifting, the people who is in drifting world and make the friends. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I did. Yeah. It's yeah. super fun. Yeah, it's the best part. Yeah. Like, I don't know, somehow, like the people who is in the drifting world, everyone is good people, good person yeah yeah like oh his shit i break the call and oh what happened like uh i might uh, my friends might have it or whatever like, yeah is it like that in so Japan kindness too? uh uh but not like us really hmm. but yeah. because they're shy to talk to the the people i see it's not friends Oh, okay. So, they don't oh, want to be she, like uh, they break something, but you know, <laughs> like if they ask me, like I can help you, but yeah. if they don't, you know, yeah, you don't like, go off for help. Yeah, like here is like in the elevator. Oh, hey, nice shoes or yeah. whatever. <laughs> I, I like your shirts. <laughs> but I'm like, oh, thank you so much. You know, like <laughs> after I moved here, but yeah. that's normal. <laughs> But it's normal. <laughs> it's not normal for Japanese people. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, really? Is it shorts? Looks good, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> shy. I'm still shy. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool, man. Yeah. Um, I guess people know where to find you. Social media. Yeah. Do you have like a YouTube channel or anything? I used to have it, but uh that was too much work for me yeah it's a lot of work yeah like shooting editing yeah. like yeah that was super hard especially like you know i needed to put the subtitle and my english is not that good like a mm. youtuber so yeah i quit oh, yeah nice I'm just doing instagram and facebook twitter sometimes tiktok yeah yeah and uh, yeah, other FD venue. You can you can find this Japanese guy. Yeah. Yeah, drifting kids. Yeah, one of the coolest. One of the coolest to do it. Yeah. So we we need to we need to drive together soon. Yeah, man. What I need to do is not fly off the track in front of you. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> but, Every, uh, that's actually, that first time that you fo- followed me at, at ABS, I blew off the track into turn one. And that was the first time we drove together. I know you can drift really good. Yeah. But when always, when I chase you at the start line, yeah. I saw your face. It's like, I was so pumped, like I'm gonna show my great driving to Kazuya, <laughs> and in my feeling is like, nah, yeah, like don't I, do that, I, no, I, no, I, please I, don't I, do that. I, I don't chase chase hard. <laughs> He's gonna be stopped, and then you are like into the dirt. 
Yeah. I do. I did yeah. that with. I did that with. I do that with people all the time. I finally oh. I drove I drove with uh, Nakamura yeah, yeah, at, yeah. at ABS and I didn't I didn't I didn't like blow off the track. Oh, nice! So I'm getting better. Oh yeah, oh. that's a mental control. Yeah, which is super important for drifting. Yeah, like the, the for peop- competition, people for you look up to, grassroots like, even for I want everything. It. Yeah, like like a lot of people say, ah, oh, it was good in the practice. Yeah, but you know. Yeah, in a competition. Yeah. You need to show your driving skill at the competition. Yeah, so, I struggle. But with that. everything for mindset, mind control. Recently, I learned a lot, and then I'm, yeah, trying to be better and better. How do you how do you drive at your full level in competition? Do you get nervous? Never. Cool. Never. Was that something that you had to work on, or? Were you always like that? I'm always like that at the beginning, like since like I started drifting. Yeah. So. So what you're I saying mean, is I'm never gonna be a pro. Oh, I won't be. Yeah, that that time I didn't. Him, I didn't get the nervous. Really. Yeah. Mm. Uh, maybe a little bit. Yeah. But recently, like especially like these two three years, I never been nervous before the start line. That's cool. But the problem is I always push too much. Yeah. That's a problem. Yeah. I've like, done oh shit, that guy, you know, like I don't know. Who mm, I, he's really good. I need to push really hard. Yeah. And kill myself. Like into the wall. Yeah. Messed up myself. Yeah. yeah. And then if you would have just drove your line and yeah. not and pulled back a little, you would have been fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, uh, so pretty difficult to control my mentality. And I don't get nervous, but I push too much. That's a problem. So, like last year at the St. Louis, when we won, yeah, and the two weeks ago in Orlando, when we got third place, uh, I controlled myself a lot more, more, mm. like. It sounds It's weird. hard to do that though. Yeah, super hard. Yeah. Super hard. I'm just starting to figure that out. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm a lot. I, I think I'm worse at it than you are. I got a long really way to go, but difficult. it's hard. It's hard. Yeah. Yeah. I, I For me, it's more like I want to like impress people that I mm-hmm. look up to driving yeah, that's wise. That's a problem for me. You know, like I want to show like a crazy driver. Yeah. Like crazy yeah. driving. Yeah. Then I missed it. Yeah. It's, it's a balance, you know, like pe- I don't want to show like boring, like normal driving. Yeah. But I also can't push too much. Right. So that's balance for the competition. I see. Yeah. Well, I think, I think as you get better at that, because I know, I know you have a lot of skill. Mm. I've I've driven with I've driven with some pros, and you're definitely very impressive. Uh, very impressive driver. So why? Why? Uh, I want to know that. <sighs> I need. I need to have confidence. <laughs> I think you're painfully consistent, mm. but also with a lot of aggression, yeah. which is very hard to do both. True. Yeah. Pretty difficult. Yeah. So like super high consistency. I think that you. Do you really know where the lead car is going before it gets there? Like mm-hmm. you can just you're just like perceiving everything mm-hmm. very quickly. Uh, because I mean we've had some close calls and you like you're gone. Bye. <laughs> you bail. Yeah. yeah. Like before I before I even know anything bad's gonna happen up front, you're already out of the way. Mm-hmm. So, uh, like mm-hmm. yeah, your reaction times are very impressive. Uh, also like how hard you push with such a clean car mm. is impressive Thank you. Thank yeah you. yeah i'm very glad to hear yeah yes yeah <laughs> yeah you impressed me yeah so. that's a yeah drifting yeah that's more more like most important point for me like with like out outside of the competition like um some people told me like oh you should compete hot beat like a you know, like local pro am yeah. competition stuff stuff. 
and I saw I saw the truck and uh, like there's big ditch after coming off the bank. Yeah. Like, oh shit! I was gonna bring the S15, but it's not gonna happen. Like yeah, I'm gonna destroy the, every single body kit at the first lap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I told someone, and someone told me like, hey, j- then just uh, raise the height. Yeah. I'm like, uh, if I raise the height, sorry, I don't drive. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so the style is the most important for me. Yeah. So for the fun car. For the fun car. Yeah. The competition car is a, a different story. Yeah. It's, a, it's not my car. Yeah. Maybe maybe in time you'll have three cars. Yeah. Yeah. Or not. Yeah. Just, this is too cool. The fifteen is so. You no, know, cool. like people, you know, like my friends and people think like hey, you're not gonna drift with this, right? And like you're not gonna drive hard hard with this, right? But you will. I will. That's why I'm building. Yeah. I have spare door, fender, body yeah, kit, yeah. everything. I'm ready to just destroy everything. Yes. I need to drive hard. Yeah. That's why I'm building. Cool. Well we'll drive we'll drive together when it's done. Yep. Yep. I'm excited. I'll work on I'll work on not trying to impress you. Yep. Impress so, me. <laughs> yeah. I'll impress you by not trying to impress you and going <laughs> off the track. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I'm always fun time. You yeah. know, local people. Yeah. Look at truck. Yeah. I like uh, I like coming down to like you're one of the people that I like driving with down here mm-hmm. when I come down. It's always exciting. So. Yeah. Like I don't know. Like drifting, we can make the friends on the truck. Like Yeah. Like let's do the tandem, but I don't even know who is this guy. Yeah. But after we drove together, yeah, we're gonna become friends. Yeah. That's super cool. It is really cool. Yeah. That is cool. Yeah. I never thought about it like that. I really love it. Yeah. Like after came came back to the pit. Hey, um, those good round. And yeah. I'm like, uh oh, that's a like white BMW. Oh, we drove like last two laps or three laps. Yeah, yeah. And then became friends. Yeah, and sick. What tire is you running? Like yeah. super super nice. That's a drift. Yeah. Yeah. I love grassroots drifting. Me too. Yeah, that's all I can do. But <laughs> <laughs> but you you competing on some stuff, right? No, yeah, yeah, I did. I did one. I won. I won a like comp uh, at Sonoma. Mm, like, yeah, I think I like last couple year. Couple videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was cool. That was like yeah. some of the some of the best. Com- that was the best comp driving I've mm. ever done. I was just like, wasn't letting anything. I, I wasn't. I wasn't struggling with like being anxious or nervous or anything i was just like whatever just happens happens yeah. yeah like i was battling some pretty like serious cars and like serious drivers and i was like oh there's no way i'm gonna win this one but i'll try you know that's super cool yeah that yeah. felt really good so mindset is yeah super important i think i'll probably sure. do some more sometimes but i i find way more joy in coming to uh like the track and driving with people and my friends and mm-hmm. people like you and so that's my main focus nice yeah the important stuff yeah cool well thanks everybody thank you uh what, what you guys what you say every time at the end uh i don't know you made it to the end whatever <laughs> i'm watching like good as podcast do you, you watch them? Good as hot pot. <laughs> what, which which one is that? Good as cast. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm watching a lot. Like while working the car. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I'm proud in the airport. No way. Yeah. Sick. Like how many times I heard I had to hurt Julian's like <laughs> like beer or whatever like how many times he needs to do <laughs> i'm like oh, fuck <laughs> this is so loud yeah uh, he's probably he's probably gonna hear this so. yeah i'm listening a lot yeah like mafia like ken goofy yeah I, I think a lot yeah yeah all the way back you know well now you're now you're on it yeah yeah, now you're one of the yes chosen finally. few. The chosen few. Yes, I hope 
everyone can enjoy in this episode. Yeah. And for everybody, I, Too long. I've been asking you to do this for like years, but before you're like, yeah, but I was like, ah, I want to, but I was just nervous yeah. to speak, you know, for yeah. the camera in English. You did great. Ugh. You killed it. Man. People are going to love it. Ready? Yeah. Piece yeah. of shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got to go. We got to go. Before you <laughs> See you guys. Thank you. <laughs> what's up everybody welcome back to the goodest cast and on this episode we have two fuck <laughs> what's up everybody today we have a very special no i never say that hey everybody welcome back to the freaking goodest cast and on this episode we have kazuya taguchi the Tomi powered, Tomi powered, twenty two street looking. Oh, 